It's winter again, and for me it means preheating the engine on my airplane before starting it. Off. On. Off. Cabin heater. Engine heater. In this video I'll tell you how I switch these two heaters remotely using a uh, cell phone operated switch. Right here in the cooling inlet of this airplane is a domestic plug. There's a domestic North American plug and we plug this extension cord into it to operate the engine heater which heats the six cylinder barrels and the oil. The cylinder barrels are more important because they're made out of steel and the aluminum piece piston in this engine expands very rapidly when the engine is started uh, while the steel barrel of the cylinder is still shrunken and a lot of wear occurs during these unpreheated cold starts. So that's why we preheat. There's this cowl plug helps retain the heat in there a little bit. Uh, this is the always on battery maintainer circuit. Um, and this is the plug for the heater inside. It sits right here in the, in the pilot's foot well. It's just a little domestic uh, heater and uh, I have it set on a low setting. The trouble is that the airplane is right here and I live some distance away and I don't want to travel to the airport just to plug this in five or eight hours before engine start. So for me at this location, uh, the only option is a cell phone or SMS operated switch. So I was shopping for one and um, for example right here on eBay, uh, you can see there is a number of these devices. They all look the same, have different names, different descriptions. Some say they're 3G devices, others say they're 4G devices. And I've owned a couple of them over the years and uh, they came with um, inadequate manuals, worked for a while, and then stopped working. One day I came across uh, this device on eBay called uh, ProGate, and uh, it seemed uh, different. There was good description. They showed pictures of the app that operates it. Um, there was a lot of detail. The different cell phone networks on which the device can operate are have to be selected when you buy it so you buy a device for your country's network and there were other details that made me interested i looked on uh, the top codis uh, website and uh, found uh, more information here about the various devices that they make and uh, sell and um, their applications uh, they also have uh, accessories for their products. Uh, there is a multitude of uses, so uh, a lot of information here. Um, but this is a supported product, and there are good um, help and support pages. This is the downloads page where you would download the configuration software. Uh, but you can also look at uh, the manuals it is a good and very detailed manual and if you download and read it you will know if this product is uh, the correct one for your application. After the switch arrived I downloaded uh, the software, updated firmware and started um, browsing through the software which is fairly extensive to enable the outputs that I was going to be using and to disable the inputs uh, that I wasn't going to use and to configure the outputs uh, in the manner in which I was going to be using them. The device has a built-in relay but it's a low power relay. You can use it to turn on directly a low power device under one amp uh, the manual talks about buzzers, alarms, uh, LED lights, uh, possibly security cameras, small equipment like that. Uh, but you can see me here testing it with uh, a solid state relay because I need to control a fairly high amp uh, heater with it.
I used the setup with a light bulb to verify that my solid state relay would actually switch and could handle the uh, AC load in this situation. Here is the wiring diagram from page 18 of the manual for use of I.O. pins uh, 1 and 2 uh, to control a relay. A solid state relay is recommended because of low power consumption. The uh, 12 volt um, positive side of the relay is connected um, to the power supply, but uh, the current will not flow because the uh, ground side is connected to a floating pin uh, depicted on this diagram as IO1. So until uh, the ProGate switch receives either an SMS signal or a data signal from the app, it's um, not going to uh, connect the IO1 pin to anything. But once the signal is received, the pin will be uh, connected to the ground and it will usually be the same ground um, that uh, the box is uh, receiving from its power supply uh, because the same power supply will likely be used to uh, control uh, the solid state relay and to power uh, the ProGate switch. And so the circuit will be completed and uh, the load side of the relay will uh, switch. So we're here on location where the device will actually be used. And I apologize, the wind is howling here today. It's noisy. I don't think I can muff this wind out with a microphone muff. Um, but uh, you can see on the wall back there is the box where the switch will be installed. Inside this box is the power supply and the relays. Uh, it'll be mounted there inside the box momentarily. Uh, but we're back to the box. And so uh, right now I have the app up. So I'll use the app and I'll push. So right now I have the app uh, functional. So I'm going to use the app to turn on my output number two, which will be to the engine heater. Um, here we go. And it's on. Uh, there isn't much to see on the uh, switch itself. It doesn't enunciate these two uh, inputs. Nothing is displayed on it. You can see it's state changing um, in the software on the laptop, but I'll turn it off now. I'll zoom out so you can see the light bulb. And off. And just like that. And so. Same thing. On again. Off. That's all there is to it by uh, the use of the app. So let's do this now by text message. So let's do the process by uh, text message. I open my texting app here. And uh, there's a syntax for the password. I put that in. Pound one is the correct And it's on. And it replies OK by text message. And pound zero would be to turn off. So I'll just paste that command here. So with the app, with the app, I'll go back to the app right here. So with the app, the reply is the change in the state of the icon. The icon goes from blue to red because I'm using the heater icon. I broke the box.
box back to the bench to uh, finish wiring it because I didn't have the heat sink. But now I do, everything is finished. Um, there are two solid state relays. These are the inexpensive ones that I had. Uh, the pro gate switch is right here on the lid. And um, there are three circuit breakers because I have a an extension cord circuit there that's always on uh, that powers a uh, battery charger that's installed in the same location. And so I did some testing here. Uh, I also changed some settings having lived with this device with a single solid state relay on location at the airport. I found out that my clock was set incorrectly and there was a daily self test uh, which triggered a text message uh, sometimes while I was still asleep. So that's all sorted. Uh, there, uh, there is a systems option tab here. Um, and under general system options, you can set the time to the local GSM net network and then you can set the testing time. So I set it to 9.30 a.m. Usually awake at that time. So going to back to testing and monitoring. So let's check the input output one. The LED is on and my parallel red LED right here uh, is also on. The green one is always on. So we'll turn the red one off, turn the yellow one on, and that is this second solid state relay. So it works and I, uh, I've already used it in a single relay configuration, but now I'll be able to use both of my heaters. Um, so again, I'm here in a basement where there is no cell signal, but I'll just take it uh, to the airport where it's installed and uh, plug it in there and take a little video there. All right, so we're right here where the switch is installed. I'm recording my phone screen. Here it is, the phone screen. I'll put it on the screen separately, but let's touch the engine heater. On. Off. On. Off. Cabin heater engine heater and cabin heater engine heater and a little bit of um, text message action here So let's ask about the current state. Yeah, both are off. We'll ask it to turn on the engine heater by text message. I just did. And it's on and it replied OK. And now I'm going to go to the app. Going to go to the app and turn it off with the app. Open the app. The app doesn't know yet that it's on. Now it knows. So it knows, let's turn it off. It's off. Let's turn both on with the app. Here we go. Turn both off with the app. So in conclusion, with ProGate, it works well with solid state relays. Hopefully, the manufacturer keeps up with changes in our cell phone 
systems with uh, firmware updates. Uh, but uh, so far, so good. The two outputs meant to work with uh, solid state relays uh, work pretty well uh, operating my 10 uh, amp heaters. It's early days. I'm just starting with this product, but so far I really like it. So, top code is ProGate. Uh, give them a look if you need to do remote switching or remote sensing uh, using a cell phone network at a location where you don't have other internet.